Hi, Tony. How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your first name, please? Uh, first name is Karen. Hey, Karen. Um, date of birth is. Yeah, I've talked to you probably about almost two weeks. Give it to about Friday, and it would be two weeks. Okay. And I told you I would call and get an update regarding James. Okay. What? So, do you need his date? No. Nope. Date of birth or just the first name? No, just the first name. James and 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 Karen. Okay, Karen. So, what's going on? What's cooking? Oh uh, no, I was gonna get an update of how he. Um, I know you told me that as of Sunday that everything was supposed to be resolved with this other female and stuff at least by Monday, you know, you said definitely. So I'm just checking on that situation. Okay. So you want to know, basically, is he really still with her? Is that what you're asking? Pretty much. According okay. to what you told me, Sunday it was supposed to be done and over with then Monday done and over with. Have then. you heard of anything? By Wednesday, haven't heard, I heard of some things going on, but not that. I think last week, last Monday, um, a police report um, was done with her coming to the apartment. Um, from what I was told is that he's avoiding her. He's not speaking to her, and she just showed up at his apartment complaint. Well, so well that's, that's what I, I think. We, okay, we were talking about she's going to persist anyway, right? Wow. Right. Well, she sounds like trouble. Okay, so you want to know whether uh, you, uh, James is still has a candle lit for her, right? Pretty much. I mean, I was told that he didn't. He's trying to get rid of her the best way. I guess he know how. Instead of doing it the proper way, the a police report was filed for her being on the property at the apartment. Wow. That's pretty serious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's like, why? I mean, what is she doing that's so crazy? But anyway, who cares, right? All right, so let's see. James and what's the name of this mystery woman, or do you know her name? No, I don't know her name. James and the woman, okay. Are they still, does she still have an effect on him? Is he still kind of connected to her? Is she still, is he still seeing her? Okay, shuffling the cards. Is James seeing, still seeing this woman? Despite everything, despite the craziness. Okay. All right. Well, when your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready. Ready. Okay. Now guide my right hand with your psychic energy as I cut the cards once, twice, and now three times. Okay. And now let's take a look, see the cards. We've got the Knight of, Knight of Cups. See what that means in a second. We got the Knight of Wands. So I think he's hanging out with friends, men friends right now. Six card, six of uh, wands means success and victory. Maybe hanging out with friends. Next card is the Ten of uh, Ten of Wands means a burden. She's definitely created a burden, a problem for him. Uh, next card is the Judgment card. It means a change, a sea change, a major change in attitude and a new chapter in his life. So that's very likely that uh, her days are numbered, okay? Next card is the Six of Swords. Now, this could have a couple of meanings. He could be moving on from her, or, wait for it, she might have caused him so much strife and stress, he may be, mo he may be moving, but it also could mean she's moving. She didn't try and move in with him, did she? No. Okay, next. Because he has a 16 year old son, so I don't think he's going to allow that. Okay, next card is the Six of Cups, which means uh, a new, new relationship, new friendship. Okay, next card is Lasting Happiness. Okay, and the next card is the World Card, which means success. Uh, four elements, Earth, Air, Fire, and Water combining together. So, I think the cards are pretty much saying that at some point, okay, uh, and I think it's his buddies, he's hanging out with, you know, his guys, his guy friends are going to say, hey, listen, buddy, this is crazy. You know, I think some of his friends are telling him this is nuts, you know, and she's caused him a lot of pain and depression. And she's been very, you know, she's caused a lot of disruption in his life. So he's kind of had a real change. OK, that's what the uh, judgment card is saying. He's really I think he's woken up finally. Now, the six of okay. swords is kind of interesting because that means he's either 
uh, he's moving on. He's moving to the next shore, to the next chapter in his life, okay? He's moving away from her, all right, uh, uh, towards happiness, a new friendship, a new relationship, okay, and which will yield lasting happiness, Ten of Cups, and the world, of course, means success in all areas of life. So that's kind of the situation right now, um, uh, and I think that's kind of what's going on. Uh, I guess the question is now you, you have a love interest in this. You want to know if there's a, is he going to finally come back to you? Is this what you want to ask? Pretty much. I mean, because he continued to have my son come over and stay the night like he did last third, last Friday and Saturday and everything. And I think he's doing it for a purpose. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So let's shuffle the cards. Shuffling the cards, and let's see if there's a love future for you and James, all right? All right, so let's see. Once the dust is settled with this crazy situation with this other woman, is there a love purpose, love interest? Will you guys finally hook up, okay? Shuffling the cards. And when your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready. Ready. All right, with your psychic energy, guide my right hand. As I cut the cards once, twice, and now three times. All right, and now let's take a look. See, first okay. card is the Queen of Cups, which could be you. Next card is the Knight of Cups, which means a proposal or an invitation. I'm not saying a marriage proposal, but an invitation right. to a date or something. Next card is the Magician card, which means a new purpose, a new direction in life. The Chariot means moving through fears and doubts, which is good. Next card is the... Uh, eight of Pentacles, which means prudence, taking things one step at a time, which is I, I would strongly recommend. Okay, next card is obviously <laughs> hard to believe there are more secrets, but secrets will be revealed to you about James. There are more things you're going to find out about him. Okay, not necessarily bad things, okay. but more things. Okay. Okay, five of Pentacles means that he is kind of lonely and miserable. He also has some financial issues, so be warned, okay? Nine, okay? nine of swords, there is some sadness and unhappiness. And the four of cups is he is reevaluating and thinking things over and reconsidering his life. Now, the overall answer to your question is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yes, there is a romantic future in store for the two of you. And yes, he will, uh, you know, uh, gradually sort of... Uh, develop a love interest with you. Okay. But I, my, but advice to, lifetime... my advice to you is to be very, very careful with him, okay? Because obviously I am. His, 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 shall we say, his his judgment and his his uh, choices are not, leave a lot to be desired, don't they? Right, and they don't. Let me ask you this question. I know last time that I talked with you almost a week and a half ago, too, which you said that he would be communicating or reaching out to me on that Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. And that didn't happen last week. So Possibly um, this I'm Wednesday or Thursday. Maybe th this Wednesday or Thursday. The cards, some cards don't exactly say this Wednesday or next Wednesday. It just says a mm -hmm. Wednesday, a Wednesday. Oh, okay. Okay. So let me ask you this question, because sure. of everything that happened, have he been in communication with her, meaning accepting the phone calls or texts or emails, or have he just been avoiding her like, you know, everyone's seeing that he has? Okay, so has he, all right, shuffling the cards, has he been really, sincerely, really, really, really been avoiding her? Has he been avoiding her? Has he not been communicating with her? Has he been, has he cut her off? Has he really cut her off? As he really, 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 really cut her off. When your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready. Ready. All right, with your psychic energy, guide my right hand as I cut the cards once, twice, and now three times. All right, now let's take a look. See, first card is a higher fan, means spiritual connection, something's protecting him, guiding him. Next card is a strength card, which means uh, his spiritual power. Next card is the confusion, because he's still in a lot of confusion around this woman. There really is a fatal attraction for her. Four of uh, Pentacles, which means some kind of uh, decision, windfall, opportunity. 
Next card is three of swords where there's some sadness and some sorrow. Okay, next card is the two of uh, wands, which means a decision of his will finally yield success. Okay, and next card is the uh, fool, which means a leap of faith, a choice, a decision. Next card is the eight of swords, means he's kind of, he is stuck, but he is breaking free finally. Okay. All right, and now let's see what here. We have, the again, the magician, which means a new purpose, a new direction in his life. So the answer is yes, he is avoiding her. He is staying away from her. But he is, it's sort of like almost like a, uh, somebody who tries to stop smoking or tries to stop drinking. You know, he is kind of addicted to her excitement. You know, that even though she's destructive and crazy, it kind of excites him. It, okay. it turns him on. Some, you know, there are some people who are addicted to what's bad for them. They like the excitement. They like the danger. They like being on the edge. And maybe this woman supplies that for him because it's so crazy and so edgy, you know. Mm -hmm. That doesn't necessarily mean she's good for him, you know, but often people, right. people don't know what's good for them. You know, people often want, right. people often, awful want, often want bad things, you know. It's sad, but true. Right. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, Mr. Tony. Um, sure. How much trouble did James get into, I guess, last week, you know, with the police report being turned in of a suspicious vehicle there and she's been there and stuff like that? Okay. All right. Shuffling the cards, sending. Okay. Did he get into any trouble? How much trouble did he get in? Did he get into trouble? Uh, because of that police report. All right, shuffling the cards, shuffling the cards, sending your thoughts and feelings to the cards. Was Did he get into trouble because of that police report? Okay, shuffling the cards. When your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready. Ready. All right, with your psychic energy, guide my right hand as I cut the cards once, twice, and now three times. All right, now let's take a look-see. Uh, three of wands means, hmm, uh, he's just searching. Four of wands means uh, possible romance, but let's just look at the answer, okay? We're just going to look at the answer. Okay, we've got the magician, all right? And we've got the queen of swords, that's her, okay? A new direction away from her, which is probably what he's trying to do. Again, he still has a lot of fantasies and confusion around her, okay? And we've got the emperor, okay? Uh, which means uh, his own self-confidence. All right, next card is the King of Wands. It means somebody who did complain to him. Now we've got the Devil card, which means there's been some problems, okay? And the, the last card is a High Priestess, which means a lot of secrets were revealed. Well, it sounds like he got into some trouble. Uh, the answer is yes, he got into trouble, whatever that means. The answer to you is yes. All right. Uh, to the degree of trouble, it doesn't look like legal trouble, but definitely mm -hmm. he must have gotten a letter from somebody, maybe the landlord or somebody said, listen, you know, you can't behave like this in our complex or whatever. Uh, otherwise, we will have you evicted. Now, sometimes I, I don't know, right. you know, you sign an agreement not to create a disturbance or to behave badly, you know. Now, uh, right. you know, if all that happened was she parked a car in a bad parking zone, that's not grounds to evict somebody. However, if there's dealing drugs, if there's criminal activity, if there's prostitution, uh, if there's, uh, you know, if some, you know, if there's something illegal going on, well, a landlord, of course, to protect themselves will evict him. If, right. If he creates loud noise, if he has the music on too loud, you know, those are the reasons you get evicted from a place. But, uh, you know, basically at the moment, all that happened was uh, parking a car in a wrong zone. You don't get you don't get thrown out of a building complex for that. If it's in someone's paid parking space, yes, you do, because they pay for that space. Well, yes, but here again, it does. OK, but it doesn't get you evicted. OK. No, no. All no, right. No. Uh, you know, and somebody will complain and you get a letter, but you don't get evicted. Evicted, you know, they, they go to court right. and they hire a lawyer and they throw you out. You know, they, you can't be thrown out just for that, especially if it's a right. guest and it's not him, you know. Right. 
Now, if this so is, let me ask you this, Mr. Tony. Sure. When is this whole thing going to go away? I know you told me last time, you know, it's supposed to be completely over. So when is it going to, when will okay. I hear from deans or communicate? Okay, all right, that's several questions. Well, let's ask the first question. Is this completely over with this woman? Is it completely over and done with this woman? All right, shuffling the cards. Is James, I guess done with the situation. <laughs> okay. Is James completely done with the situation, done with this woman? Shuffling the cards. All right. And now when your intuition tells you the cards are ready, say ready. Ready. All right. Now guide my right hand with your psychic energy as I cut the cards once, twice, and now three times. And now let's take a look-see. First card is a star card means help, health, inspiration, healing, two of pentacles, means a little bit of juggling there. Oh, boy, justice card. So maybe there was some kind of a decision or possible legal action. Who knows? Ace of sword means victory. Uh, queen of swords, 